scorched ground. Better watch out. Scorched ground? That thing? Arcane turret. It only has 17 health. Target so far. How is it hitting me? How is it still too far? At the ready. Step by step. Oh, oops. My faith will guide me. This way. Will it? Be shy. Moving it. I just realized. I need to find a way forward. My face protects me. It's all dash. Onward in her name. Still breathing, despite everything. With haste. It feels well that ends not as bad as it could have. Uh huh. Times is it shoot? Is it gonna hit me? Oh yeah, we'll kill it. I applaud your taste. Can't trip this thing up. Ready. Whatever it takes. Dirty! Oh no! I should use like a spell then. Making me sweat. There's no way. Need to learn the hard way. Uh oh. about to get shot. Oh, it's just three damage. But how many times? Ooh. Only my magic worked. But it came back. Oh, there's another one. These boots have seen everything. So this one's dead, right? Oh, I have the magic touch. It doesn't look dead. Hmm. No time to waste. But now it can't see me, right? It's locked onto her, but it can't see me. I'd love to, thanks. Yeah, that one's dead? Or like... I mean, you can't reach destination. Soldier? It's just, okay, it's just not good. Like, it does not work. It has to be like magic or something, or my magic. Let's get going with haste. How is it too? Don't. There is ripe with magic. I don't want to use that. I want to use. Can we just? No, it's only there is work to do. my shit. Onward then. Huh. 
have a lot on my mind. And, well, at least it's focused it. on Shadowheart. Breathe deep and move. That might be worth a look. Okay. That wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Hello. Scroll of haze. Awesome. Don't have to spend a scroll slot. Or scroll slot? A spell slot. <laughs> a scroll. A scroll My slot. will do the trick. I give Gail haze. Oh, hawa! Natural one! Okay, at least I would like to do on, like, chess and not something very important. Skybreaker, one to four damage? Always room for more. Alright, letter to year? Yare? Dearest Yer, Yer, I don't know if you're coming back, and if you'll uh, even read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls? I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions and mag my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you, despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences are pinned below in a different hand. I waited. I waited into Tarask. I'll always wait for you, but you didn't come. Uh-oh. That's kind of sad. That's actually really sad. I guess we could have gone completely around. I kind of want to go this way anyway, just to see... Actually, let's pick up some alchemy stuff. Anything of use? What did I unlock? Why did I gain experience? Why did I gain experience? Um, because of this place? Let's see what this does. No way to ignite these. Strange. Assuming we can't open the door, but there is a busted window with a thing right there. All right, can we enter? Can I reach that? I mean, I can't reach destination. Oh my god. I just want him out of the way of everything. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I wonder if we could have also maybe not enough movement. Fine. This is story. Yes! 
Is that the only one? No, there's another one on the other side. Swift as my feet can carry me. You have my attention. Hmm. Bro, I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see anything! Hey, good looking. Never a dull moment. Moving ahead. I don't have to do turn-based combat. I guess we could do this, exit this. At least things have stayed interesting. But then it will hit me, won't it? Actually, it'll hit me, won't it, if I try to do that? Oh, sturdy, sturdy! Didn't even get attacked by my arcane. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to do that. Tell me our elder glass isn't gonna work. Hmm. Lightning vulnerability? to new horizons one by one uh-oh what's next I wonder that's Well, you might get shot. Oh, it misses. What the fuck? <laughs> That's hilarious. No desire. Let's get going. Traveler's chest. Broken machine. Just check random stuff because there's fucking hell potions. Here we go. I wonder if the gods are watching me. What's happening, no way me? to ignite these. Strange. Very strange, I would agree. Oh, we can go down? Dusty book. What's in here? That chest. I can feel its magic. So what does that mean? Let me guess, these aren't just it transformed. I wonder what else it could change. Oh Mistress Grace. Oh, come on. So it changed these items right here. Wait, no, that's my item. Featherfall. Sorry, Gail. I feel like that might be better for you. So what's this 
still? They kind of look the same, but I kind of like mine better. Light bomb. Bathe the nearby area in light. What is this? Did I actually give her that? Whew. Basculus oil. Wait, I'm not wearing my armor. these things. 6.4, 5.2. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what's giving me the most, um... Descend. <laughs> I suppose. Wait, who, what was I seeing invisible? What was that? Everyone. Looks like some kind of magical contraption. Now to get it working. Oh, is this like a puzzle? to do with these um arcane braziers. Hmm. No way to ignite these. Strange. There has to be a way to ignite them. We haven't read that. Uh, the beginning of this book proudly declares it to be a play by Dama and Mia, followed by an extensive introduction, 23 pages of notes on the text. Though, though the book itself seems barely touched, one stanza is encircled twice. There's a light in every living thing, it's crawling towards the surface to survive, and in its wake it tramples everything we kill the rest so that one so that the one can thrive. Seems like the owner was quite the literary type. Okay, but yeah, but what does that mean? Let's go with mage armor. No way to ignite these. Strange. There has to be a way. 
Maybe I'll figure it out in a second, but... It has to be something with these torches, right? Right? Mm, we can drop down here. I'm gonna fall prone. <laughs> Wits and blades always shock. Still breathing, despite everything. Shoes. Interesting. water, maybe to water the plants. to do stop <laughs> spores that's for attack only seems simple enough jump off if we wanted to. Feather fall would come in handy. Threadbare book. This threadbare book looks like it once contained a play, but most of it has been lost to time. Berman and an unfortunate ink spill only two full sentences are distinguishable. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? I don't know. Is it supposed to like mean something? Still nothing. Hmm. I'm just gonna assume we're gonna have to drop here. <laughs> Death, it said. Death, it said. Um, potion of feather fall. Does that affect us all or just me? Can we use the scroll? You and all nearby allies, I think we should use the spell. Alright guys, let's jump down. We should be fine. Hmm. 
Alright, Shadow Heart Gale and Carlock. Perfect. No way to ignite these. Strange. Was there a safer way to get down? That might be worth a look. The hole. I'm way too big. Hi. Can Carlock jump up there? Oh, I could go for a good meal. If you insist. Where am I sending Carlock? What the fuck? I don't know why I'm sending her over here. What could be over here? Was this just another way to get from... Okay. <laughs> okay. Why are you gonna fall prone there? What the fuck? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I didn't. Come on. Come on, people. Okay. Open up. <gasps> a saucer tree? Wait a second. We needed you. Spell slots? What does it mean by that? Preventing us from casting spells. So I should probably have Carlock holding this stuff. Why? Looking ahead. But does that mean she Don't can burn yourself? A light, but no wick. Gotta be a trick here. Wonder what's past this. Damn it, Carlock. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Could have unlocked it that way. Never wanted the easy path. It's the hole in, I guess. We could have unlocked it, the lever. Treaties on anti magic properties of susser tree flowers. 
The anti-magic properties of susser tree flowers. For those knowing about susser trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough even with those unattuned to weed can effect, feel its effect, but also, and most interesting to those living in the world above, the way its roots, bark, and flower can be harnessed to make magical items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in supplements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are no mere legend, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I am myself creating items that have anti-magic properties, and that use the magical absorption of Susser tree flowers as a power source. Lines have been drawn on the following pages as, as if the author intended to fill them with writing, but the remainder of the thin book is blank. Didn't we need... Oh, the trail goes cold in the under dark. Didn't we need... Some bark. Hang on. Let me go back. How do we get bark from it? It's not like it'll let me hit the fucking thing. Something good here, I hope. Like, how do I... Some bark. She has a bloom. Huh. Hopefully we can come back to this if I fail to get what I need. Oh. This is the generator. Okay. With their blue petal. There are stairs. Stairs. Ooh, what is that? Detect thoughts. No way to ignite these. Strange. So we've been told. Can I just click down here? Thank you. Alright, what can we do with this generator? everything light up and um, the defenses be cut off. Cool. <gasps> the vines! They're glowing! we get that. Alright, 
right, let's um, ascend. Can everyone get inside though? Thank you. Whoa! So we kind of just teleport upwards. been here. Let's go up one more. We have not been here. Oh, well, this place looks a little messed up. Whoa! A lot of, uh, books. Guess this is gonna be a reading episode. <gasps> What? Give Yankee stuff? Torn out paper. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. The writing on this torn out strip of paper is shaky and blotted with tears, making it barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands just for just a while? That sounds so sad. The grave disk of Yugang, the origin containing a complex cipher that can depict ancient gift dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such art. Erotic. I can't say it. <laughs> erotic? What did I just say? Archaic. Fuck. To the gray. From Barracure, we made our stand. Meant to rule but led astray by wicked tentacle idol cynical and wicked hand. This world belongs to the Grey. Orendal stole, stole all we had, yet taught the weapons by which to slay. Forge your minds to ironclad. This world belongs to the Grey. The exile freed us with his command to conquer what was taken away. Crush every monument into finest sand. This world belongs to the Grey. Trade your heart for steel, intent for the, with wit and mind we flay. Let them all hear our descent. The world is nothing but gray. Is that about mind flares? Hmm. Magic on the weave. I think we read this. I'll just take this. There is quite a map's memoirs. My life has been a long succession of pleasures to see my town take to my ideas and cease legal discrimination of local orcs, to see my fights against horrid living conditions in city factories take off, to have the chance to see a new generation take to these ideas of a better, kinder, fairer, intelligent world and run with it to new reaches of the continent. It was not a life without struggle, however, and I shall regret its failures. My old friend Saluto, Saluto came, comes to mind, who adopted such cruel ideolo ideologies later in life. I will forever console myself in the idea that such a brilliant mind would only conceive such theories under the strain of exile and the promise of resentment as she ultimately was. Journey through the jungle. Bro. The sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand read- I think we've seen this. I've seen that. Great did Yankee disc. The disc is formed from slate Ooh. and engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Using the cipher you found, you might be able to reveal the disc's meaning. Command the disc? <laughs> Seek a pattern in the writing? Let's use the cipher. Use the cipher you found to decode the symbols. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc. And from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. So it was that we were free from gake shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Flacketh would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. <gasps> Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. 
Flack had seized the empire against the mother's wishes, but Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, prince of the comet, the true heir. <gasps> he knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The war of the comet had begun. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Lazelle will surely want to know her. Oh, this. yeah, we'll definitely give her that. Can I take it? Strange disc. Are these Gith Yankee markings? Lazelle might know. Oh, yeah, she will know. We'll give it to her. So, wait, we didn't read this one. Oral histories of Faroon, Gith, and Mind Flayers. Oops. This book comprises several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcripts of oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Palador the Swift, 700 years of age, would have storyteller hailing from the Wood of Sharp Teeth. We might have... read this one. I feel like we have. Maybe not. Let's we'll read it. It took me several ten days of quiet hibernation in the wood before the vulnerable Palador felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. Yeah, I feel like we read this. The longer I stayed to demonstrate I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to, to gentle inquiry. This tale relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stroked a fire a small fire between us was like none I had ever I had heard before or since. I asked if it was fiction, he insisted empathy, it was true as his own right eye. Long ago, before my ears and Eyes and ears before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only belief. An empire of brain eaters, soul wasters, they called themselves Illithids, the flayers of mime. The children of Gif were bowed, bent in service to the flayers, a passionate people made to serve a cold belief. The flayers were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor, no proud will or passion could break Gif's children free. Until at last a reckoning, its source unknown, its power unproven, the crowd would not be cracked. Gish children fought back valiantly. Their freedom theirs, the flayers bent and broke until today. I feel like we read that. The Road of Darkness. Sorry, I keep pinging stuff. The Roads to Darkness, an epic tragedy about power, corruption, and loneliness. A prologue, a lonely road. Thunder and lightning, enter Soreth. New sounds through damp and dark oppression break. Is it the foe, the that foul, contemptuous heel? Or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely wake? Come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. Enter Rasaya. How would I know? Would you? Would how would I know, Sora? It's been so long. What do I know of you and of me? Wait, do you hear that sound? Enter Amphius. What's that? Those figures so familiar, Bo. But still, you seem so strange. It's Amphius. Dear Amphius, what happened to your face? It's pale as death. Your eyes are black as shard. Me and you, I saw your teeth, their sharpest blades. And what is this road so slick with blood? What happened here? What happened to us all? Exuant in prologue. Ten years prior, the rest of the play tells the tale of three elven friends, their paths to power, and how corrupt and mad and lowly they killed each other. What? Carla, why are you dancing? Handwritten letter. Dearest Lenore. Oh, wait. We know about Lenore, don't we? I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bullet? Just because you found it near My My Myrna's grave doesn't mean that she is a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bluette is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs. Armaleth. Armareth? Yes, it really warms my heart to hear that you put an autumn crocus flowers on Lirna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them. Even though she always she's always a sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Oh no, not the dog. Whoa. Yeah, we read that. Disorders of the nerves and mind of treaties. Oh. Bro, there's so much reading. There came to me a woman, who I shall henceforth call R, greatly distraught the unusual tempers of her husband, who I shall henceforth call B. Three months prior, he suffered- I think we read this. Yeah. Wow. 
vast world out there. What is that? Stuffed hook horror head. Cool. What was that noise? Take that, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to romance him. Strange place for a button. Especially one that doesn't work. Huh. Oh my god, the same books over and over. By with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Alright, well, I guess we go up another floor. 